I wake up to hearing Hannah screaming and I tried to get myself up because my head was just in the most horrific pain and everything was spinning. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't see anything but red from my left eye and blood had covered my face so much I could barely see out of my right eye as well. By now, Hannah had caught up with the fleeing McKee, who was fueled by toxic, near lethal levels of ice. We were both running down the middle of the street and I remember just catching up to him and reaching out to grab my bag back. Um, and I sort of yanked it back and he, he stopped and um, turned around. And as he's taking a step forward towards me, his hand comes up to punch me and I, I somehow reacted so quickly and took a step backwards and off to the side and watched him fall right onto the ground in front of me. And that's when I looked down at him, he had um, the gun pointed up at me. And yeah, the fear, the terror that just, that I felt is inex inexplicable. Out of his sight, but hearing her screams, Blake is convinced Hannah is about to be shot, as he believed he had been. It was just like, he's gonna kill her, he's gonna kill her, he's gonna kill her, like I, I need to save my girlfriend right now. In that moment, Blake made a choice that will haunt him for life. To protect Hannah, he grabbed one of his prized samurai swords, which was on display in his lounge room. To him, it was the closest and only option to save Hannah. But the consequences for them all would be dire. I just tried to run as fast as I could. I just, I just thought like, you know, she's, she's about to, She's about to die. And when I got to the street, I could kind of make out that it looked like two people in a tussle, which was the gunman and Hannah. And I just tried to run up as quick as possible to just you know, save her and make sure she was okay. To the terrified pair, the gun was a deadly weapon. But little did anyone know, it only contained blank cartridges. So Blake, with sword in hand, believed he had to strike immediately or his girlfriend would be killed. Blake came into my side vision and had the sword in his hand and I saw him just sort of bring the sword down onto the man that was holding the gun at me. 